Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to answer the question, which of the following is equivalent to 35%? And looking at the answer choices, we have decimals and fractions. So what we're going to do here is convert 35% to both a decimal and a fraction, and then see which answer is correct. Let's start by converting 35% to a decimal. Now, all we need to do when converting a percent to a decimal is divide by 100. And a quick way to divide by 100 is move the decimal twice to the left. Now, as far as 35, this is a whole number. So the decimal comes after the ones place. So right here, and we move it once, twice to the left, we get 0.35. So 35% equals 0 0.35 as a decimal. Now notice I wrote 0 0.35. That zero in the ones place makes it clear we have a decimal point here and we don't have any whole numbers. That zero helps us see the decimal point. That way we don't look over the decimal point and read this as 35. So something to keep in mind when writing out decimals and then also when you're working with decimals and you see that. Now looking at our choices, A is a decimal and C is a decimal, but they are not the correct answer. So we can cross off A and C. So now let's convert 35% to a fraction. So 35% equals, and when writing a percent as a fraction, all we need to do is put it over 100. Remember, percent means per 100. So all we need to do here is put 35 over 100, and that's our fraction. But looking at our choices, we don't have 35 over 100, 35 hundredths. So what we can see here is if we can simplify this fraction, and we can, 35 and 100 have a greatest common factor of five that we can divide both of them by in order to simplify. So we need to divide 35 by five and 100 by five. 35 divided by five gives us seven, and 100 divided by five gives us 20. The only common factor between seven and 20 is one, so we are in simplest form here, seven twentieths. So that's 35 hundredths in simplest form, and that is one of our choices, choice B. So which of those choices is equivalent to 35%? Well, B, seven twentieths. So there you have it. There's the answer to our question. If you need more examples or more help with fractions, decimals, and percents, check the description for more videos. So whether you are studying for a test, learning this in class, maybe you were just looking for a problem to solve, or whatever the case may be, I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.